Okay, so things have progressed a little. I've now covered the fuselage with the Oratex navy blue and I've left the uh, top of the cockpit area this satin black colour. Now you can see the fittings for the uh, rudder on the outside here and if I turn the fuselage over you can see inside the uh, lever arrangement which will activate the rudder. Now the elevator controls what I've done is if I've got a single elevator servo and this will operate on this arm control arm which is linked to um, a triangular piece that I've made and that's got the two connectors there with the adjusters on that will fit either side of this circular fitting here and then the lines will go back down through the fuselage and they come out uh, through these two holes here two holes either side to the uh, double servo arms so fuselage virtually done now the nose cone uh, I've cut out the section here and what I've done on this side for the battery I've cut out this hatch so I, I drilled four holes in the corners and then used a hacksaw blade to cut around and then I've fitted hinges on the uh, back of the door here so that the door actually opens this way to get the battery in because the battery slides in from the front and I've just got to make up a catch arrangement to go at the front of the door and then I've just drilled uh, the three holes to locate it to the front of the fuselage so that's all looking uh, good so I'm going to be painting this to match the fuselage so it's going to be the satin black on the top and the dark blue for the remainder now the other job was the undercarriage so this was a bit tricky I've not done soldering before so it's quite a challenge so what I did was I mounted the front uh, section to this piece of wood and got the angle right so it was uh, you know at a slight angle measured the distance to the fixing point for the uh, front support and then offered it up and did these bends to actually make it match the the main legs and you know a bit fiddly but wired it on and then soldered it on and then subsequently bent these pieces to shape and soldered those into position so it's not a brilliant job uh, but I've not done it before I had to buy a new soldering iron 100 watt soldering iron and um, I'm going to finish it off by uh, painting it and putting some fairings on the back of the legs but what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it in this state attach it to the aeroplane fly the aeroplane and, and make sure it's strong and doesn't break because I don't want to be putting a lot of uh, fairings and coverings and paint onto these uh, fittings until I know that it's substantial and can stand up to a landing so I'll tidy it up after that so that's, that's about all I've done for now